Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch Coridon and Maridon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Remember, it is version exclusive, so if you have Scarlet, you can only get Coridon. If you got Violet, you can only get Maridon. There's no way you can get the other in the other game. It only has to be through trading, which is kind of unfortunate, but ultimately, you got it. it's, it's, it's just what it is what it is. But if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. We are to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Any help would be greatly appreciated, and you can unsubscribe. And um, let me know which game you got, and did you catch them first time, or did you struggle to catch Legendary Pokemon, and if this video helps. Let's get into the video. So here we are in Pokemon Violet, personally, and it's quite easy. So first off, you do need to complete the post game. You need to do everything. You need to complete the eight gyms. You need to complete the three storylines, Path of Legends, uh, te Team Star you need to complete as well, and you need to complete the Titans as well. Once you completed that, you'll get the option then to uh, go to do the post game, which is all done in Area Zero. Uh, and obviously, you need to complete that. And once you completed that, it's very simple. So it, you should know where it is. You need to go back down to Area Zero. And I'll show you here now. So if you don't know where Area Zero is, go to Medali Town, and it's just right here. Obviously, once again, if you've completed the game, then this will be on the map waiting for you. It's very simple. It's very easy. Um, and when you get here, um, all you need to do is just go into the great crater of Paldea. Um, and you just need to go down to the point where you can jump off. There's probably some sort of way you can jump off quicker. Uh, you can probably go around the side to think about it now, actually. Um, but I didn't think of it. But no, literally all you need to do is just go through here and jump off the edge with your respective legendary rider Pokemon. So obviously, being in Violet, uh, mine is Maridon. So just jump over here. And this is the quicker way of doing it, I'd say, because do it, jumping down the sides, you need to go into the loading screen. It's just a bit of a faff on, but realistically, you can just do it the normal way, and it takes probably about the same amount of time. Think about it now. So once you're here, you can actually ride your Pokemon at this point, which is very helpful. Uh, we've got some uh, Pokemon spawning already. Um, and actually, all you need to do is, it's very, it's a very nice area they've done here. Um, we just need to go down right down to the middle, back to where the post game actually happens. Um, I quite like the post game. I know a lot of people said that the post game wasn't long enough. I really enjoyed it. Um, but no, I'll look at this screen. Um, very simple. So this should just make your way all the way down here. Can be, this is a very big drop, so my screen is going to light up. Um, I think it's starting fair play. All the way down. Oh, I managed to catch myself here. Um, so don't be shy, just jump all the way down. And when you get to the bottom of the map, you'll see where the one is. Can be a bit of a faff on getting down. So as you jump all the way to the bottom, then just follow a path. Then a path will pop up. Here we are. So this is where the post-game events happened. And around here should be the legendary Pokemon. Just need to have a quick search around to see where he is. So here we are, I've gone to the back of the building, so you actually have to, I guess you have to go inside, and as you can see up there, there is the legendary Pokemon waiting for me. And it's gonna be level 70, I think we need to remember. Um, so that is quite easy. I'm gonna set up my Bloopy, because he will immune the uh, the electric type moves he will give up. Uh, he'll, like I said, he'll be level 70, and it's a legendary Pokemon, so it's gonna be strong. Uh, but literally all you need to do is just walk up to it, and interact with it, you might need to interact with it. Walk up to it, interact with it, and it will set off a very cool cutscene, to be fair. Um, I like the fact you can um, you can see it in the reflection. And it makes his noise, and you initiate a battle with the box legendary Pokemon. Coradon will be here, it's just whichever Pokemon you decide to go against. Um, so, we'll go into his ability in a bit. But literally all you need to do is, oh, he's level 72, so my bad. All you, all you need to do is just not defeat him, preferably. That'll be a bit of a pain in the ass. He's going to be very strong, once again. We'll go into his stats in a little bit. Um, but like just a quick little battle. They are, see, got him very weak, very quickly. And the best ball I would recommend using is Ultra Ball. Like, obviously, you use the Master Ball, you're going to catch him. Um, but, like, after a while of using Ultra Ball, he will get him. He, he will be caught. Cool. I think his catch rate is 13.2 all around that area. So it's quite low, but... I don't even have slow. I don't even have slow. But they are... I got him. Oh, I thought I was in. But no, I'll catch back when I caught him. Let's go that again. Yeah, see? Wonderful. We got it with a crit as well. 
Uh, that did take me a little while. I think I went through about 20, 25 Pokeballs. So it took me quite a little while and a lot of my Pokemon fainted. Um, but see, it is possible with an Ultra Ball. There are, there are a lot of like, yeah, he's level 72, a lot of the stuff like that. I would recommend you bring in some status uh, status, status moves. For example, Sing, I will, oh, I don't name it. Sing would have been fantastic for this because obviously he will he'll put him to sleep. He can't, he can't retaliate against you and it increases the catch rate. I didn't bring anything, I just let it attack me, uh, which I, it works. It works ultimately. Oh. And there's also a cutscene afterwards, which I kind of forgot about. Um, so, I think it's just the armor right on. Oh. I don't know what that was. But I'm sure that will be explained later on. Um, I love this wall. But no, we're going to go into now, we're going to quickly just go into some stats about Coraidon and Maraidon to help you catch him better and understand the opponent that you will be facing a little bit more. Boom! And that is how you catch the legendary Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Hopefully it helps you out, but it's going to go through some stats just to help you out further in catching the Pokemon and what to expect when it comes to the Pokemon. So I've got the stats on the screen to my right, uh, might be, it'll be your left. Um, so this is what you can expect. So when it comes to Coridon, he's got very good stats, totaling to a whopping 670. You've got to remember, he is a legendary Pokemon. So when it comes to his individual stats, HP stat will be 100, attack stat will be 135, defense stat will be 115, special attack will be 85, defensive or well, special defense will be 100, and his speed will be a very good 135. And of course, totaling to 617. And he is not a, he's not a joke of a Pokemon. He will give you problems. He's more of an attacking based Pokemon, so if you I would recommend setting up with defensive Pokemon just to kind of attack. Just to kind of take the shots, hopefully put him to sleep. We're using maybe Sing or Yawn. Maybe uh, Clodside will be a very good shout, especially for Moridal. We'll get into that further on. Um, just to kind of just get him to sleep, and then you can throw your know, Ultra Balls, po uh, Pokeballs if you really want to, or even that great Master Ball if you want to waste it on the Pokemon. When it comes to his typing, obviously he is a fighting dragon type, so you should be okay with Cloud Sire. I'd probably recommend using Cloud Sire. If you've got a be better Pokemon to use in the script, let me know in the description. Um, when it comes to his ability, it's called Oracallum Pulse. I've definitely butchered that. And it turns the sunlight harsh when the Pokemon enters the battle with the ability. It's quite good, very good for fighting type move, uh, fire type moves, sorry. Which is quite surprising that he has it when it, he doesn't have any fire type moves. He's very fighting based Pokemon. When it comes to his moveset, he's going to have four types of moves. They're not going to be on the screen, unfortunately, so you've got to listen up. He's going to have Giga Impact, Bulk Up, Collision Course, which is a fire type move, uh, and Flame Thrower. So he does have that fl uh, fire type move to boost with his Sunny Day. Uh, collision Course, obviously, and Bulk Up being fighting types. Uh, Giga Impact being normal type, and Flame Thrower in the name being a fire type. So he's a very attacking based Pokemon, and once again, he's not a joke. Moving on over to Maradon and the Vada, Vada exclusive unit. So when it comes to uh, Maradon, he once again has 670 total base stats. And uh, moving into his individual stats, he's got 100 HP, much like Maradon. Uh, he's going to have 85 uh, attack, 100 defense, 8, 135 special attack, 115 special defense, and 135 speed. So he is much more of the special type, special type Pokemon. If you want to load him up, make sure to use special type moves because he will do a hell of a lot more damage. If you have him up against a physical defensive Pokemon, uh, then he is probably the Pokemon to use because typically when you got a good physical defense, the special defense can be down. When it comes to his ability, he's got something called Hard On Engine, very speed, and it turns the, it turns the ground into electric terrain when the Pokemon enters battle. Uh, so basically, it boosts up. Uh, so electric type moves, which is very handy dandy because he is an electric type Pokemon. Compared with that dragon type, he also has as a secondary Pokemon. So when it comes to Maridon's moves, it's Stone Edge, Electric, I think it's Electro's Drift, it's Charge, and it's Hyper Beam. So once again, it's a very attacking based move, all special attack, so get prepared to have that special defensive Pokemon. I personally use Clod Sight, as you saw in the video, because he's immune to uh, electric and he did quite well against Hyper Beam, as you I don't think he died over Black Thumb Hyper. He did quite well with Hyper Beam, only taking off maybe a third of his health, so he could survive six turns if he used the Hyper Beam, because obviously it takes the extra turn to charge up. Charge just charges his electric type moves. Electric Drift didn't affect the Clod Sire, and Stone Edge didn't do anything against I think it might be Power Gem, sorry, didn't do anything against him, probably took away a quarter of his health. So, when you're thinking, but you know, throwing those Ultra Balls. Probably the best thing to do. Maybe not even best use Ultra Balls, I actually think about it now. Use Repeat Balls or Dust Balls after four turns. 
or even timer balls, because obviously the further you get in, the repeat balls will get more and more effective, the more you use, unfortunately they are a little bit more expensive. That's probably the best probable ball I'd use. But if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, it really helped out, then make sure to let me know in the comments below, and have a nice day. Goodbye.